Did you know that Canva has AI tools built right into it? It can not only write your blog post for you and your newsletter and your next social media post, but it can also create images from for you just out of nowhere, which I guess is what AI is. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create pretty pages using Adobe InDesign and using Canva. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. All right, we're inside my Canva account. I do have a pro account. I'm pretty sure these tools do not work on the free, but don't quote me. I don't know, I didn't test it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here to create a design and you're gonna use a doc. So inside doc, you're going to see this little plus sign and it's gonna say add magic. So you're gonna to go to the first option, which is magic write. So you're gonna write something you want it to magically do. So um, top five tips for becoming a graphic, well, you wanna spell it right, designer. And I'm gonna hit return and the magic is gonna happen. So let's time this out, it's pretty quick. Oh, we don't even have to time to time it, it's already done. Um, one, start learning the basics of graphic design. Familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with the tools and the software you'll be using. Stay up to date with trends in graphic design. Keep an eye on latest trends. Now, I haven't done anything else but listicles. As far as I know, that's the best way to use the magic right. Um, so let's try something else. Uh, worst, um, vacation, locations, vacation spots for couples. How about that? I don't know if it'll give us a million, it'll give us two. Well, it's def difficult to definitively say which locations are the worst for vacation spots for couples. There are definitely some places that are not ideal for romantic getaways. So this is basically like you having a conversation almost with like Siri or Google Home or something or Alexa. Um, let's try another one. So we're gonna do magic right. Um, and let's say I want to talk about, I don't know, the best uh, Italian places to eat. So best Italian restaurants in San Diego. So it is kind of like going to Google or um, to, oh, let's see. Uh, San Diego has some great Italian restaurants. Here are a few that come highly recommended. Antica Trattoria, uh, this Italian eatery serves up classic Italian dishes. So it can pretty much do anything that you want. Um, now, let me go ahead and show you how to do images. So. I'm gonna open up, I've opened up to the, the design editor and if you haven't seen that before, if you're here on the homepage, you can just say create a design. I just did a custom design, um, 1080 by 1080. That is the standard for an Instagram post. So over here, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom where it says apps and under create something new, you're gonna make sure to add text to image. So you're just gonna go ahead and say use that. And then we're gonna describe the image that we want. So let's say we want a cute kitten playing with string. And we're gonna say generate image. Little stars appear to tell you like magic and theory is happening behind the scenes. And <laughs> We're waiting. So this one must take longer, which makes sense. It's not text, it's an actual image. And, oh, there's some cute kittens. I see cute kitties. They look a little strange, but they definitely are kittens. So let's take a look at these. So there's one. The eyes look a little creepy. I'm gonna just say, I'm a little scared. Same thing over here. Um, eyes look a little strange. Uh, this one, this guy looks okay. Not too bad, right? And then this guy over here, same thing. Eyes look a little weird. So let's go ahead and start again. So let's try doing something else. Um, a red sports car. Sports car with flames behind it. And let's see what happens. And notice that I didn't specify colors. You probably could have specified colors in your images uh, for the cat and they maybe would have shown up. But yeah, let's go ahead and not look at these anymore. <laughs> there we go. 
And it does give you four. Okay, there we go. So we have two. And waiting. Three, four. All right, so we have, so this one didn't, I, I don't know what happened to the flames. I, I, I don't know if that was like a, an attempt at flames. Here we go over here. Whoops. Let's try this one. Okay, this one definitely has flames coming out of the back. This one is a front view with flames coming behind it. And this one, the whole thing is on fire <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, so it's kind of fun to see what images come up. It could be, honestly, I think it's kind of just like when you're searching for images, it probably takes the same amount of time. Um, and they have some items over here that you could put in as well. So let's just try a third one. Um, let's say a pink planner with gray stripes and see what happens. I don't know if it's going to say like a planner, like a person or a planner, like a planner that I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, but let's see. It's possible too, uh, that you could, you know, make this all, all of your tarot cards, maybe through this pen. Oh, this is pretty nice. All right. So we got a uh, pink planner over here. So that's definitely a planner, maybe not the prettiest planner, but it's pink with some gray in it. Same thing over here. We have like a, looks like a folio and it decided to go ahead and just add a matching pen to this set as well. Same thing over here, definitely a planner. So something unique, you might find some design inspiration out of this. Um, and then what else did I say? Let's try uh, tarot cards. Uh, let's say purple tarot cards. And there we go. There are 78 cards in a tarot deck. So it'll be interesting to see if it just gives us a whole array of cards. Cause I didn't say card deck. I just said cards or if it just picks out a couple different tarot images and then puts those in there. Um, but yeah, oh, this is pretty quick. Here's our first image. Uh, we have some writing that looks like Elvish. I don't know. <laughs> I can't read it, but I think that's the point. Um, okay, these are definitely purple taro looking cards. And we got this guy uh, who we don't know who he is. It's cut it off. It gets wants you to leave it like it's a mystery. And we have this one. So yeah, is it the best? I don't know. We'll do a comparison in my next video because I did pay for Jasper, which is like a thousand. Um, so we'll compare that. But you know, if it's not a bad tool, I think if you're just starting out um, and you're inside Canva and you're like, let me just kind of test out some text because I'm stuck and look for some images to make. So go ahead, try it. Let me know what you think. I, one, think it's a great thing that they're even offering this as an option. And two, I think with time, it will only get better, as will all of the other AI tools out there. All right. I hope everyone's having a great and wonderful day. And remember, if you would like to take my free course, Canva 101, you can sign up for that below. It comes with a free workbook, and I can't wait to see you in there.